एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन टू मासेज एम वन एंड एम टू आर कनेक्टेड बाई अ लाइट रॉड एंड द सिस्टम इज स्लिपिंग डाउन अ रफ इंग क्लाइन ऑफ एंगल थीटा विद ओरिजेंटल द फ्रिक्शन को इफिशियंट एट बोथ द कॉन्टैक्ट इज म्यू फाइंड द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड द फोर्स बाई द रॉड ऑन वन ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स सिंस बोथ द ब्लॉक्स आर कनेक्टेड बाई अ रिजिड रॉड दे विल ऑलवेज मूव टूगेदर एज दे बोथ मूव विद सेम एक्सलेशन दे कैन बी टेकन एज अ सिंगल सिस्टम If we draw the free body diagram of the system, gravitational force of m1 plus m2 g acts in vertically downward direction, whose component along the incline is m1 plus m2 g sine theta, and perpendicular to the incline is m1 plus m2 g cos theta. Normal contact force, say n, acts perpendicular to the incline, and friction with magnitude mu into n acts up along the incline. The block is moving down with acceleration a. Balancing the forces perpendicular to the incline. We get n is equal to m1 plus m2 g cos theta. Writing the equation for motion along the incline, we get m1 plus m2 g sine theta minus mu n is equal to m1 plus m2 a. Putting the value of n, we get m1 plus m2 into g sine theta minus mu into m1 plus m2 into g cos theta is equal to m1 plus m2 into a, which implies a is equal to g sine theta minus mu g cos theta. This is the answer to the first part of the question. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the lower block. Gravitational force of m1 g acts in vertically downward direction. The component of gravity along the incline is m1 g sin theta and perpendicular to the incline is m1 g cos theta. Normal contact force from the incline say n1 acts perpendicular to the incline. Tension in the rod T is pulling the block up along the incline and kinetic friction of magnitude mu n1 is acting up along the incline. The block is moving down the incline with acceleration a. Balancing the forces in direction perpendicular to the incline, we get n1 is equal to m1 g cos theta. Writing the equation of motion along the incline, we get m1 g sin theta minus t minus mu n1 is equal to m1 a. Putting the value of n1, we get m1 g sin theta minus t minus mu m1 g cos theta is equal to m1 a. Putting the value of a, we get t is equal to m1 g sin theta minus mu cos theta minus m1 g sin theta minus mu cos theta. Thus, t is equal to zero. This is answer to second part of the question. For more formal solution, you can watch another video. The link for the video is shown on the screen and given in the descriptions below. In order to request solution to any question from Mr. Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter for latest updates thank you for watching